Hi everybody, my name is Dave Marsh. I'd like to welcome you to this Matrix Quick Tip tutorial. And today we're gonna to take a look at how to quickly create additional carts for either yourself or your customers. Now before I begin, I'd first like to mention that because each MLS has slightly different requirements, the system that we'll be using during this tutorial may differ slightly from the one that you're currently working with. Nevertheless, the functionality is the same and for the most part, whatever you see during this tutorial, you'll easily recognize in your own system. Now for anyone who's already familiar with Matrix, you already know that carts are typically used as a repository to save properties that you'd like to work with in the future. But when it comes to collecting these properties, there may be times when you might not actually want them all grouped together. For example, let's assume that my customer Bjorn has just asked me to do a search for his new home with the following criteria. And after generating my results, I can now save all the potential properties to Bjorn's cart to review and work with at a later time. All right, so because this is the first time I've ever saved any properties for Bjorn, let's go ahead and create a brand new cart. And to do that, I'm first going to select carts from the button bar, then click new cart. And for this cart, I'm simply going to call it Northeast Quadrant. And then I'm going to associate it with my customer Bjorn. All right, so now that Bjorn's cart has been created, you'll notice that my five selected properties have already been added. And from here, I can now either continue adding additional properties to his cart or view a completely different cart for another customer. But for now, we're going to assume that Bjorn has also asked me to list his current property. And as part of that process, I'll need to create a CMA. And one way to do this is by first finding all of the comparable properties in his current neighborhood and then importing each of them into my CMA. So let's begin by running one of my previously saved searches for comparable properties in Bjorn's area. And from here, I'm just going to select six random properties to use in our example. And again, now what I'd like to do is save them in a card for when I build my CMA. So just like before, I'm going to click the Cards tab, but this time, instead of mixing them up with Bjorn's other potential new properties, I'm going to isolate these comparables by creating a brand new card for Bjorn and then place them in a separate card of their own. All right, so now that my properties have been added, when I'm finally ready to create my CMA, I simply need to access the comparable step of the CMA wizard and then choose which comparables I'd like to add for my cart. And again, by having this dedicated cart containing only my comparable properties, I don't need to pick and choose from any of the unrelated listings in a single cart. All right, and finally, to manage the carts that appear in the button bar, simply choose carts from the My Matrix menu, and then either use the search box to isolate a specific contacts cart, or navigate through the list to find it manually. And from here, you'll just need to expand the customer's cart to either manage its settings, view the properties, or delete the cart altogether. All right, well, this concludes this Matrix Quick Tip tutorial. I'd like to thank you for watching and hope that you could join me for another session. Take care.